And uh, we come to the next speaker, which is uh, Su Shen. She's from uh, my group, actually, at Nanogune and also working in the Peter project. And she will present uh, what uh, was done with the Terra Hertz-Nefeld microscope. This is not really EPR, but uh, while playing around with Terra Hertz and scanning probe, uh, this is kind of a, a side outcome. And uh, yeah, she will, will present uh, this now in the next 20 minutes. So Shu, please go ahead. Okay, uh, thanks to Rainer. I'm Shu Chen from Rainer's group. I will talk about the terahertz nano image and the nano spectroscopic of the Chakrach light first change material. Um, uh, this is the outline. Uh, at first, I was talking, I want to introduce a bit first change material, then um, also uh, terahertz as no. Then I want to talk about the terahertz as no and study first change material. Um, and finally, I want to give a simple conclusion and outlook. Uh, first change material, uh, chakrachalat first change material are normally family of Germania antimony and tenery that are widely applied in optic data storage. This application is mainly based on two major features of first change materials. First change material, uh, materials normally has a crystalline stage and amorphous stage. Crystalline, crystalline stage has a larger refracting index than the amorphous stage. So the different, uh, the different refractive index between uh, both stage introduce a larger contrast in their optical and electrical properties. Moreover, uh, these two stages of the exchange material uh, can be reversibly switched by, op uh, by electric and optical paths. So such a flexible and faster switching capability uh, between uh, two stages makes phase change material also promising for photonics application. Particularly, um, a phase change material has optic phono at terahertz frequency. Uh, for example, uh, one of the typical phase change material, GST. Uh, from the far field spectroscopy, we can clearly see the uh, uh, optic phono at terahertz frequency for different uh, GST uh, stage. Based on the far field spectra, we extracted the dielectric function. The imaginary part of the dielectrical function shows us the crystalline stage has a, a stronger optic phono than the amorphous stage. Uh, particularly in the phono range, the difference of the permittivity between both stages uh, um, show us um, uh, a significant difference. So that uh, which will introduce a larger dielectrical co uh, contrast between both stages. So that means the terahertz phono in the first change material could be used for uh, switchable terahertz photonics devices. On the other side, the studied uh, terahertz phono uh, could be need a better understanding of fundamental properties of first change materials. But the spatial resolution of terahertz far-field spectroscopy is limited by diffraction, which does not allow to study the log phono response. Scattery scanning near future uh, microscope at terahertz frequency, in short, terahertz as no, could allow us to nanoscale study phase change material because it can overcome um, diffraction limit. In this technique, the AFM tip is illuminated by the uh, terahertz beam because of the antenna effect, the tip creates nanofocus, a uh, generating very strong electric field at the tip apex. So the tip generated the uh, near field interaction with the sample, uh, then transferred the sample information uh, into the tip scatter field. Then the tip scatter field is detected by a four field detector. By scanning the FM tip on the, um, on the sample surface, then we can obtain the uh, nanoscale resolution near field image. Essentially, the spatial resolution of s is depend on the uh, uh, tip apex. We can um, obtain the material information. We can also real space images um, uh, propagating and localized wave on the subsurface and so on. So as that, terahertz as no has been used in many aspects. For example, in, semi in semiconductor technology, photonics application. For example, in this paper, the use of terahertz as no to image the dopatocinic uh, nano devices to review the carrier properties. In this paper, they mapped the uh, terahertz phono polariton in MO3. But the terahertz S node study of phase change material had not been done yet. 
Better at ethno study, we could uh, study phonal response of exchange material at nanoscale. We could uh, distinguish the near field spectra features of amorphosis and crystalline stage of exchange material. We could also locally explore the uh, crystallization behavior of the exchange material in the imagery, photonics, and devices, and so on. So for a uh, locally study of exchange material, we use a commercial terahertz ethno, uh, ethno from the spec. This is a terahertz ethno setup in our, in our lab. The terahertz, gas, uh, the terahertz laser B with tunable terahertz gas laser in range of one to six terahertz uh, is focused by a parabolic mirror onto the metallic FM tip. The tip scatter field is uh, collected by the same parabolic mirror then detected by the bolometer system. Uh, the amplitude and phase and phase are available by synthetic optical chromography. The uh, uh, the uh, the study that uh, phase change material sample for terahertz as no study is one hundred thirty nanometer GST. It's a uh, GST field on the on the silicon oxide and silicon substrate, which is prepared before the as no measurement. It is uh, normally um, a prepared by two steps. First, we did positive uh, we did positive um, Amorphous HSTV on the substrate, then we locally uh, crystallization amorphous HST into the crystalline GST. As that, we can um, uh, we prepare uh, we can prepare a uh, GST field simultaneously with amorphous HST and the crystalline GST on the substrate. So first, uh, we uh, performed a uh, uh, land scan near field measurement uh, across the substrate and the GST field. Um, we obtained at 1.89 terahertz. We obtained the amplitude uh, and the face near field image simultaneously with the IFM topography. For the IFM topography, it is very difficult to see the differences between both stage. But from the amplitude and, uh, and the uh, face image, we can clearly see the amplitude and face contrast uh, between both stage. So in order to uh, study the spectroscopic uh, properties of GST, we repeat the land, the land scan measurement at, at five different frequencies with a 25 nan nanometer normal tip, tip radius. So the uh, near field data set show us the amplitude and the phase um, uh, varies with frequency. For quantification of the frequency dependence, we extracted the Amplitude and the phase contrast of a crystalline HSD and amorphous HSD, uh, which means it's normalized by the uh, signal from the substrate. So the uh, the amplitude and phase spectra show us the amplitude contrast and the phase contrast display strong for both stage, uh, but they show us different spectral features. So that means the terahertz phonon mode of both GSD stage can be locally propped and distinguished by spectroscopic image. Uh, in order to verify our near future data set, uh, we, uh, we performed a, a, a theoretical calculation with finite depth mode of as known for near to materials. As a dash natural to us, the calculation result a short quantitative agreement with them. Uh, experiment data set. Recently, we have uh, we have demonstrated that the uh, large deep radios can push near field signal, which has been published in this paper. Actually, this is a very important and uh, uh, and a very interesting point for uh, terahertz uh, for S no, particular for terahertz S no, because of the signal of uh, the weak signal to noisy. So we further study how the terahertz near field signal of GST depend on the tip radius. Here we show the uh, we show the land scan near field measurement at 2.52 terahertz for three different uh, tip radius. As we can see, the amplitude signal on the substrate and on the GST view are significantly improved by increasing the tip radius. This is because the large deep radius can provide a large depth of momentum. Meanwhile, we still get a deep sub wavelength scale resolution. Actually, this is not, uh, not so bad, I would say. Um, then, uh, have we demonstrated the amplitude signal can be pushed uh, by deep radius? Then we further, uh, we further study how the, uh, S, the typical S no signal 
uh, amplitude and phase contrast depending on the deep radius. Here we show the amplitude contrast and the phase contrast between the uh, Christian GSD and the uh, substrate, um, uh, amorphous GSD and the substrate, and also between both the uh, GSD stage. As we can see, the amplitude and the phase contrast is modified by the deep radius, and the modification is highly depend on the frequency. When the frequency is more close to the phonal range, for example, at 3.1 terahertz or 2.52 terahertz, the, the amplitude and the phase contrast um, enhancement becomes much larger. We explained the uh, material enhancement by the notch deep radius. Um, it's, because the not, it's because the reduction of relative uh, tamping amplitude. This is actually similar with the uh, material enha uh, enhanced by the material uh, contrast enhanced by a small uh, tamping amplitude or high order demodulation order in S0. The other side is also related uh, to the sample permittivity. This is actually the, the case of the phonal enhanced material contrasted here. So uh, now I want to conclude my, uh, my talk. We performed the first terahertz near field nano image and the nano spectroscopic uh, study of first change material. We characterized the terahertz optical phonon of GST and the review clear spectral dif uh, differences between both stages. And we also found that the near field terahertz signal strength and the, and the material contrast can be enhanced by increases of S0 deep radius. Next, we could uh, a uh, localized image HST with nanometer uh, resolution uh, to review the inhomogeneous properties of GST. Actually, in our current work, we already see the first part as the boundary. We wonder that this could be related to string. So we could uh, image the boundary with very high resolution to see what happened at the boundary. And we could also study the transition process from the amorphous to pristine stage of GST by greatly increased the temperature. It is similar uh, with the characterization of vanadium dioxide of the transition process from the uh, insulated to metallic by warming, um, similar in this paper. Uh, so now we have finished my talk. I want to thank all our group members, particularly to Rainer and uh, Penny, and uh, also thanks uh, Chao who prepared the sample and uh, who uh, did the far field spectroscopy of GST, and also uh, thanks Colors who did uh, some of the theoretical calculation. And uh, I also thanks the funding from the Peter project. Thanks for your attention. Thank you very much, Xu, for this talk. Um, now we have time for questions. So if you have a question, just raise your hand right into the chat or, or just, just ask. Yeah, no, no questions. Let's see any Thomas? Yeah, yeah, sorry for that. I must unmute it. So, so, is it so you mentioned that maybe in the future or maybe now you can go for measurement of the of the strain at the nano nanometer scale so is it like that for instance if you have some just give will give you an example some gallium droplets on graphene can you measure the, the strain around it or stress around that I, I think we uh, I, I think we we can measure the string. As I remember, Rainer did uh, such a, a study in the mid infrared, maybe two thousand and uh, two thousand and five, right? Uh, to study the string, I, I remember. But uh, uh, but for terahertz, we didn't uh, we, we didn't do this uh, right now. Okay. Maybe. Maybe I can I can comment yeah. this. So um, the strain mapping that uh, Shu mentions here is based on phonon spectroscopy because uh, strain changes the lattice and with that the phonon uh, resonance frequency changes. Okay. And this is what we could see. 
But that requires then, of course, that the material that is trained, which you want to analyze, uh, is imaged at the frequency of the optical phonon. And in uh, the space change materials, this is a terahertz frequencies. So uh, with gallium and graphene, I'm, I, I probably not will be difficult because there is no uh, there is no optical phonon neither in gallium nor in in, in in graphene. So so that that is the that is the requirement for our strain mapping via near field phonon spectroscopy. It requires that you have a phonon that significantly okay. shifts up on strain. We showed that with silicon carbide and that worked very nicely. Then people did this with the HBN, where, which has an optical phonon too. But uh, that, that, that's, that's, that's the important point uh, to be mentioned. Thank you. Thank you. Are there more questions? Yeah, I can't find how to raise my hand. Yeah, Sorry that. So in your paper, you, 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 you say that the next step could be like ultra-fast uh, terahertz uh, imaging of these ultra-fast transitions. So is this, the, is this the future plan for, for you or what are the future plans with, with, with this nice technique for GST? Uh, actually, I mean, I would say this is uh, uh, what, uh, uh, what uh, I mean, what we can do, but uh, Currently, for our I mean for our lab because we don't have a ultra fast uh, setup, so uh, uh, we we don't have a display right now. But our collaborator, uh, the other guys that Benny, uh, she, uh, he he could do this because he like, he could have this setup in in the future. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Because I think this this hasn't been done like uh, in such a, uh, in such a, in such detail with, with GSD. Like so, so it might be interesting. Anyway, thanks. Yeah, yes, nice yes. talk. Yes. Thank you. If I comment on this, this uh, these pump probe techniques combined with norm is, is something that is emerging, and uh, it's 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 uh, relatively little has been done. But in the in the future, it may be possible to do. Uh, Whatever visible pump, for example, and then terahertz readout. But this is all based on 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 femtosecond laser technology. So we this this work was done with a gas laser. So um, that's uh, we, we cannot do it, but others others could do this. Yeah. And also with VO two, I, I can imagine that you can still find some some interesting details there as well. Yes, I can imagine. Thank you.